Hello, Buzzer Girls. My name is Otsus and welcome back to another episode of the No Sleep Challenge. We passed another night uh, fishing uh, and a bit of the day as it is raining. And I have to confess, I died. I tried to evade a phantom and accidentally hit a iron golem and you can imagine what happened next but luckily uh, we only lost uh, about 28 levels of uh, XP and uh, as we uh, grinded our way back the time was well spent because I was trying to get a, a decent villager farming here and there uh, to collect more emeralds uh, but in the end it took almost all the time to get a librarian uh, that has a mending trade and as you can see I have uh, made good use of that. Uh, I think here we need a second chest for all our books and goodies for uh, enchantment. But let's get on with our daily business. Harvesting the uh, pumpkins, the sugarcane, the carrots and uh, trading for more emeralds. Because in the end we will need quite a few emeralds because some of the trades I'm after uh, are quite uh, expensive. So uh, let's be prepared for that. And of course more carrots. Carrots are good for your eyesight by the way. Just in case you didn't know. And I seem to have lost the uh, second farmer somehow. Or they did. Another villager took their workstation as a base. And as you can see, we are on day 60 and uh, we left off at the last episode at day 55 so not too many days have passed but now it's night time again which means more fishing and as another moon sets we have been fishing out here all night long got ourselves quite a bit of chunk and quite a few goodies as you can see down in the in the toolbar there is and well not a useful book but books are quite rare and there is also a bow that we but let's go about our business harvesting carrots, uh, pumpkins, and sugarcane. See there, unbreaking and power four. If we can get another power four, we can cre combine them into a power five, uh, which is good because then we would not need a book or. Uh, an enchantment of power five and as you can get uh, bows and fishing rods by fishing uh, that's probably the most convenient way but I think we need that chest here over at the uh, enchanting table because it gets quite full so Let's put that down and sort our stuff out a bit so um, we have a bit more room. 
But let's first deal with pumpkins, sugarcane and carrots because they can only grow if they are harvested. So priorities. Sugarcane has not grown uh, as much as we just harvested it uh, last night. But yeah. Fisherman is here, so uh, let's uh, deal with all the fished fish. Not enough tropical, but of course, always some puffer fish. Ooh, and another pumpkin. So it's the same old story all over again, going around digging up all the grown up uh, goodies, harvesting them, there is one more farm up there and then of course trading with the uh, villagers, get uh, emeralds and a bit of XP, uh, that does never hurt. And this one has the pumpkin trade, so let's deal with that. And we will use the other villager with the carrots in the hope that we can level him up as well. But using carrots, that will probably take quite a while. As the carrot trade is the lowest tier. And then we can try to get on with our um, with the uh, try to get a librarian for either unbreaking three or protection four. As this can be quite a tedious work uh, to get one. Uh, we will probably uh, skip ahead several times, but first I have to find the villager without the profession. And this one, this librarian here, uh, traded the paper for some emeralds. Uh, one without trade is not here, not here not here either so seems it has gone missing or it has picked up a uh, station ooh pumpkin not good letting that one lying around or the uh, villager has gone and picked up a crafting station of another villager, which would be bad because then this one cannot replenish. And down there we have a jelly cat. There is a Fletcher out there. I think he got out because from the inside you can walk over the cobble fence but uh, from the outside you cannot get in so uh, that's quite a silly thing for him to do but seeing that it's a Fletcher I'm not too worried because I don't need those and if it gets killed uh, we probably can get another uh, uh, villager bred up. But let's see if we can tame this cat to make Scar happy. So why are you running away if I am holding fish? You don't like fish? Raw cod? Not your taste? Come on. 
I don't have all the All right then, have it your way. Let's get back to business. Emeralds and XP. At this point we have 32, which means we can do some uh, level 3 enchanting, which we will eventually try out. But first, let's try to get our hands on a flint so we can craft flint and steel because we need that for lighting the nether portal and possibly for some other needs. And there we have one. Let's put rest back it makes up a nice shore done and then we can craft one but we need some iron ingot so let's do that real quick and then Oh, good sir, you're on fire! How unlucky of you! You have to be more careful! And again! You're quite unlucky, sir! It seems like uh, it is gathering time for the villagers and we have the ominous uh, grass on a pass block. I thought things like this should be fixed but maybe it was only a uh, floating grass uh, that should not spawn anymore and this basically is a is a new thing but it's it's a curiosity you can only experience in minecraft so there is one two that's a farmer i have not traded with so my suspicion was correct and uh, the uh, villager with that profession stole the uh, compost of the farmer so let's try and break uh, this composter to see if that uh, turns the villager back No, does not look like it. Let's place this one back because we need that farmer up there as the pumpkin trade. And this would indicate it is this compost over here that is the culprit. But of course, at this time, they will not care about their crafting station because it's gossiping time and then it is sleepy time. But as it is night time, you know the drill, more fishing for more fish and more XP. And another night has passed here with fishing. It was quite a uh, settling night. 
uh, throughout three saddles. But we got quite a bit of chunk, but one good bow that we can use to combine. So let's continue with the daily routine, harvesting carrots, replanting them, as well as um, all the other goodies like uh, pumpkin and uh, sugar cane. Let's empty out our inventory here a bit with all the junk that we have collected. And then we can see where we go. No carrots up here, but let's collect this uh, composter uh, because then uh, uh, the we should end up with only the two farmers that we have traded with, and the other one will uh, revert to its unprofessional state. And then we can place a lectern for them and afterwards place the place the uh, composers again for the two farmers. So one more pumpkin over here. And then let's have a look at the last one. There is the villager without profession. And we have ourselves another librarian. So let's place this one down over here. Collect the carrots. And then we can see if we get something good out of this librarian. Oh yeah, and let's put also this one up. So we are set. We probably need some more paper to uh, trade with our paper librarian. I never know where they are, but this one has no good trade. So let's reset and try again. Oh no, you don't go over there. That's not your workstation. And he did it again. Bad. Bad you. So let's see. Where is that villager, that librarian that trades paper? I think it's this one here. Yeah. And or if we want to level him up with only paper, we will need quite a bit of paper. Sweeping edge, no good. And it happened again. The uh, the lectern disappeared right in front of our eyes. Curse of binding, useless. I think curse of binding and curse of vanishing are only useful if you play with, uh, with other players. Punch two, no thank you.
next one please another uh, uh, oh, what's it called um can't remember now Okay, that would be useful against uh, if we expect to face many uh, many skellies. But uh, as our main goal is the dragon fight, I think the best bet here is going for protection and nothing else. So let's have a look where this uh, auto villager ended up. The one auto farmer that we are missing. We do not want to this villager to take the the farmer farmer job again. Quick charge. Don't use any crossbows. Sharpness three, not good enough. We need sharpness five. Efficiency 2, not good enough. I've seen sh uh, efficiency 5, I think twice, but as we are not planning to uh, have a long term game uh, where efficiency uh, would come in handy, um, we don't need that one. I think I have efficiency 4 on my pick and the lectern vanished but it's still there in the inventory just invisible sweeping edge 3 we have sweeping edge 3 book already And it's gathering time. So let's see. There is the netwit. So let's see how lucky he is. Oh, and he got fire. Uh, got on fire again and died. How tragic! But this should free up one more bed. Uh, so if the uh, villagers uh, then breed up, uh, they can produce a baby villager. And we can have one more librarian out of that. So let's collect a few more carrots here. Uh, before the day ends, uh, the uh, gathering of villages is usu usually towards the end of day. Uh, almost no carrots over here. So where is that villager? That's the one with the pumpkin traits. Uh, I am looking for the other one. Somehow the other got missing. Hopefully not missing in action. Our 
area here should be quite safe. Flame. Uh, I need that, but I think we can get that through the uh, enchantment table. No comment. Again. And there goes our uh, our X. So let's craft a new one. Still on the Stone Age, at least for the X. And they went to sleep, which means we will go fishing for another night. Putting our stuff away and hopefully get something good. And yet another moon sets, so uh, let's go about our business putting two good books away. Uh, I think we already had one sweet sweeping edge, uh, but now we are getting somewhere at least. And with this extra chest we can put all the good stuff separated from the junk. Right there. And as usual, it's carrot time, replanting, that's the mending guy. I think I have enough mending books for now, but we will see once we have done all the enchantment. So up here a few more carrots are ready to be uh, harvested. Didn't want to do that. Uh, but let's try it with this one uh, for the carrots. And then move on. This is still the mending guy. Uh, on to pumpkins. And then sugarcane. Okay, it has grown quite a bit. Or at least most of them have grown one stage. Doubling up our amount and then some more carrots another pumpkin over here don't need the seeds Should probably put away all the junk that we don't need. Make a few more pages of paper so we can trade. And then look for what enchantments we can do. Or, yeah, so let's put on the uh, unenchanted armors. Okay, unbreaking three, not so good because that one could get us uh, a protection that we don't want. Uh, 
aside from uh, uh, whatever we get. So uh, let's see, power three on the bow, no good. Um, fire spec on the third sword, no good. I'm breaking three on the pick. That would be okay. So let's go for the uh, diamond pick. Do the enchantment. Unbreaking. And we also get in efficiency four. Ah, uh, that's quite good. So we only need Silk Touch and Mending in addition. So let's grab a Mending book as well as the Silk Touch one. Head over to our Anvil. Combine these two. And apply it on the pick. And with that we have our first completely enchanted tool. Well, completely enchanted would be efficiency five, but as said earlier, we don't need that uh, for our goal to defeat the uh, Ender Dragon, because I don't expect uh, too much more mining going on. So let's see. Uh, next step. Uh, Sword, no good. Uh, let's check the armor once again. Protection for... Yeah, that is good. But we need 30 levels for that. Currently we have 23. So we will have to work our way up there. Um... But now we know what the next enchantment from the enchanting table will be. And we can go on with our business. It will probably take quite a while till we get all the uh, enchanting uh, of all our gear and uh, uh, armor. Uh, so I would guess I will do that between this episode and the next one. So this is all for today. I uh, hope you enjoyed it and I will see you next time. Goodbye!